I'm, I'm kind of getting a lot of disappointment energy uh, from some of you. Like, like you got something, but it might not have been um, what you were hoping for it to be. Uh, so let's tap into that a little bit and see what's going on there. Uh, the card on the bottom of the deck, which <clears throat> I view for additional support into the reading, um, kind of a, that one card summary, is the Wheel of Fortune. And Wheel of Fortune has to do with luck, chance, fate, karma, um, any of the external influences that impact our lives that we have little to no control over. Sometimes we do. I mean, I, I think a lot of people really, um, really yearn for the idea of a karmic justice that, you know, if somebody's, uh, if somebody does cruel and unusual things to people here on, on earth, that there will be some sort of divine retribution for that. Um, and I, I think that's a very natural longing for people to have. Um, sometimes we do good works in, in the hopes of, of turning our karma for the better. Um, Sometimes luck is just luck, though. It can be good, it can be bad, it can be indifferent, and it has nothing whatsoever to do with the person. Um, so kind of differentiating between those two effects. But sometimes with the Wheel of Fortune, it really is about um, we get out of our own way and then the doors can open for us. So we do have to do our part, whatever that is, because we really don't know when the Wheel of Fortune turns, if it's going to be karma or luck, fate or chance. We don't always necessarily know that. But um, certainly there's, there's energy behind the scenes that are helping to make this happen. And we'll return to this card most likely during the reading as we get the other cards, um, we get some view of the other cards going. Um, <clears throat> covering you, your basic environment is the Knight of Pumpkins. Slow moving energy, uh, but this is kind of about going forth and seeking, uh, maybe seeking some place to plant your feet a little bit. You know, um, some of you have changed jobs, for example, and uh, there may be a sense that you are still kind of looking. That's what was coming to me as I was um, coming out of these, as I was looking at these cards, laying them down. Because um, you're crossing energy, like the influence that's coming into play is a sense of disappointment. I feel like you were looking around, you took an opportunity. In fact, you even had success with that opportunity with the Six of Imp cards here. But yet there's some sense of loss or disappointment. You don't notice the full so much as you do what's spilling out over here. Um, and that could be why there's kind of a dissatisfaction and unsettled kind of an energy here. Um, there's a lot of beginnings and fresh starts and there has been some positivity, but there still is that. Um, I, I don't feel like you're ready to settle where you are right now. Right. But this is slow energy. He's kind of looking around. Maybe this is you putting out job applications or, you know, putting forward that that sort of energy uh, into that. So there is a disappointment. Even if you got what you wanted, it still could be that there's a disappointment. Kind of like, um, say you graduate high school or college. Uh, that's what you wanted to do. But there can still be that sense of loss or disappointment at the end of that, because it's kind of like, well, OK, now what? I'm mourning the loss on the one hand, I'm grateful to be done, and yet I'm a little scared about my new steps. So that, that's kind of the energy that's embodied in here. It doesn't have to be about a college student, of course, could be a, a job or career change. This seven of imps is about you thinking about moving on to your next thing. Someone's pointing out the house at the, the top of the hill. Could be a haunted house, could be a positive house, we don't really know. And there's a sense of curiosity and looking around. Um, the, the faces that we can see have different expressions on them, but, but some of them are looking back at the smallest one saying, what do you want to do with that? This figure right here represents you, the person who's moving on and trying to get a sense of, yeah, we're moving on, but we don't really know to what just yet. But this is imps and that's the fire suit. So that's sort of about taking your passion and, and putting it into action. And that's clearly what they're doing here is they're moving on. So that could be motivated in part by disappointment, but it's harder to move on into something new if you're focused on the disappointment in your present tense or past tense, as opposed to um, looking at something positive that you want to be going into. Uh, in other words, if you are the mule attached to the cart, it's harder to move on because you feel the stick poking at your back than it is because you're chasing the carrot in front of your nose, right? We always want to find the carrot in motivating us into action. Um, otherwise, there can be a sense of lack of direction or a sense of confusion uh, that comes about with that if we're not really sure what it is that we want to do. So 
you did get something that you wanted, but you're still feeling that sense of dissatisfaction. Could be that you moved out of one situation that was bad into another situation that may be better, uh, but it's still not quite where you feel your heart wants you to be. And certainly in the past tense, the recent past, or move, present tense moving into the past, we have this card of thievery. Either somebody stole from you or you stole from them. But I, given the disappointment here, the disappointment is conveyed by this little figure in the cat suit. Um, and this is the card of disappointment. You know, heartache. Negative action against you. The moon is not thrilled with the, the Hamburglar over there on the right-hand side, the big tall figure. The cat is looking angry. And the bats seem to be hovering in consolation, even as the kid in the clown suit is providing consolation to the kid in the cat suit. Um, but <clears throat> this energy here is, is so much about the disappointment. Disappointment. And again, we see that here, too. So it was from this kind of energy where it felt like a theft or someone stealing something from you or treating you unfairly or unkindly or taking advantage of you in some way into a new situation that still involves some kind of loss in spite of there being the victory. You got out of the frying pan into the fire, I guess. But the new situation, I don't feel like it's quite as bad as, you know, the fire analogy. But anyhow, <clears throat> in the future, the immediate future, we have temperance. Temperance has to do with peaceful waiting, right? Um, there's a process that comes underway. And we know that this night energy is slow because pumpkins is the slowest moving energy in the deck. And this knight is basically standing still. His horse is shifting weight. It's not even moving forward. We have the sense of disappointment. But as you're waiting for something new to come into your life, some new change, some new opportunity, it's very important that you check that you're not making your weight more uncomfortable than it need be because of an attitude. You have the right to feel disappointed or frustrated or loss or lack or any of that, but it's always best to clear that energy in a healthy way. Allow yourself angry journaling, crying, uh, talking to your friends or your therapist or whoever you need to talk to about it. Uh, give vent to your feelings and then be sure that you're doing self-care so that you can put yourself back into a positive space again. Do your meditation and ask for spiritual and divine support, whatever that means for you. <clears throat> The card representing you here is the Page of Pumpkins. The Page of Pumpkins is somebody who's inquisitive, um, a student, um, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, somebody who's a scholar, you know, has learned a bunch of things. But here she's put her book down and now she's looking at something. She's holding something material in her hands, right? Um, this is about taking that learning and, and making it manifest, right? Learning how to actually... Um, apply your knowledge which is and that energy is carried further into the night of pumpkins energy because nights tend to be about going forward into the world and using their learning um, to create something right but this is still kind of that scholarly or learning phase now she's she's out of the books and into the um, science lab i guess um, doing experimentation and so on. But this can also be the beginning of a new business, a new start for some of you. Um, you may be trying to create a business on your own, doing something like that. Um, with that kind of guidance, that may be the most positive thing that you can do for yourself, creating a new life or new environment. Now, in your environment, things are not very clear. The moon can be about deception. It can be about you know, he's going mad howling at the moon here. He's a lunatic. We have the contradiction of the French bulldog. The French bulldog is the domesticated dog. They have similar ancestry here, but yet he's calm and he's civilized, essentially. He's been trained. He's he's good. You know, this character, he's dangerous. He's bending wires. The skull, the pumpkin, they all look afraid of him. Right? The cat looks aggravated. Look, what the hell are you bringing this unstable energy in here for? And so... <clears throat> In a world that may be unstable for you, be careful that you're checking in with yourself so that you know what your best options are and continue to follow your leads into some new pursuit, whatever that might be, right? Um, the hopes and fears card, this is about getting away, making some big escape. But this card here has to do with theft, stealing, getting away with something. Um, so be very, very careful uh, that you're not engaged in some kind of thievery or or that type of situation um you could be afraid that someone's going to try to steal from you again um or do you wrong again 
keep your karmic side of the street clean. And then this wheel of fortune may not manifest to the negative for you. You may have nothing to worry about in that. I'm not really feeling a lot of negative energy. I'm just feeling maybe a general sense of disappointment here because your step that you've taken right now isn't exactly what you want to do. And, you know, right below the Wheel of Fortune card, we've got this Nine of Imps. And the Nine of Imps is about guarded energy. They're guarded. They've been through a battle. The battle's now over, but they're still feeling kind of like a wounded warrior. They're, they're used to getting screwed with, and you half expect it again. But be careful, because sometimes we manifest things um, through our fears, and we don't even realize that we're doing it. Now, the final outcome card is more disappointment, right? This um, The trick-or-treater here lost the bag of candy, but this other trick-or-treater hasn't noticed and is pulling this kid forward beyond. So there may be kind of that sense, you know, that somebody else is making you lose your candy, which again is a repetition of this and could explain why you're afraid here. Um, you're, you've got some unstable characters possibly around you in this moon card. Could be that people are being deceptive. They're not sharing all that is, is needed to know for you to make your best choices. But the guidance I'm feeling here is do what you need to do. And it may be slow getting out of there. Be patient and bide your time. Keep your side of the street clean. Don't you engage in fuckery and nonsense like some other people might. But you just do slowly, steadily do your work, create and do your jots and tittles, fill out your job applications and, and do what you need to do to get out of this situation. And in time, it will happen because the Wheel of Fortune, even though this person looks terrified, it will take a hand. Temperance is a good card. And it really is about, you know, the cake is in the oven. There's nothing we can do. We can't turn up the heat or we'll burn the cake. It'll be weird. Um, we sort of just have to bide our time in that and allow for fate to have a hand in it. If you do what you need to do, keep your karma clean, in time, the universe will catch up. They are orchestrating things behind the scenes, even if you don't know what that is just yet. So be patient and remember that patience is ultimately peaceful waiting peaceful waiting. So now, <clears throat> with that in mind, I do want to pull a Alice in Wonderland Oracle card by Lucy Cavendish. Beautiful cards. They just were released in September. And see if there's any wisdom, guidance, anything helpful that spirit feels that you may benefit from knowing or any encouragement that they might provide you as you're trying to get through um, what could be an uncomfortable situation for many of you. Oh. investigate. This one just kind of popped out at us. I've been having a lot of luck with that lately. Investigate. Look closely, ask questions, and think before acting. Give me one moment to um, look up the, the card in the book here, and then I'll read it to you. These tend to be a little bit long, these explanations, but they're totally worth it. Um, <clears throat> so we have here, no, I'll look first. And that's a quote from Alice, of course. Too many people blindly follow others, and in many situations we can find it easier to go with the flow, to trust in other people, and even to follow orders. But Alice does not do this, not until she has thought it through for herself. She may be impetuous, adventurous, and curious, but she is also sensible, cautious, and inquiring. Alice remembers the good, common-sense advice she has learned through hearing stories of others' mishaps. And right now, you must be like Alice. This card, in fact, let me pull up this temperance card because that's kind of what I'm hearing. Uh, this card asks you to check something carefully before going ahead. You are being encouraged to take a daring new path of action. And while everything is most likely well, you still need to take responsibility and remember to be your own guardian and caretaker. Look over the details, check the packaging, be sure to know what is in the fine print, and ask questions about the arrangement or the offer which you are about to enter into or accept. That's this little page of pumpkins right here as she's going through all the details, right? If, like Alice, you find there is nothing alarming or hidden about the arrangements, and here we have hidden and alarming arrangements in our moon card, um, by all means, go ahead. However, do not follow orders or blindly do what you are told. Investigate, decide, and if you go ahead, be prepared for unexpected changes when you sign, start, connect, or decide to advance. There is always an element of the unpredictable. 
and there is no way of preparing for all the strange and wonderful things that will happen next. <laughs> Here's another card for unpredictable right here, the Wheel of Fortune. Sometimes we just don't know what we're going to be offered. So this card in Divination indicates an important decision requires you to inquire, inform yourself, and think it through thoroughly. Find out as much as you can and look at the fine print. 